Okay guys, um, so there's been a few improvements on CR Twee switching for RetroArch. Um, I've added in some dynamic super res um, calculations. So instead of having a hard set 1920, 2560, um, it will now compute a dynamic super resolution uh, to make sure things fit correctly. Um, so you've got no artifacting or anything like that. It will compute it over a certain pixel clock, which is set at the moment to I think 15 million. Um, so it should work on most uh, video cards. Um, I may have to play around with that a little bit. I don't have many video cards to test on, unfortunately, but we'll get to that. Um, so yeah, let's let's have a quick look, shall we? So at the moment, this is running in native resolution. Um, what I will do now is show you the first edition. This is an actual edition, this one. And this is the dynamic super, super width. So the dynamic super width, as I say, will compute um, the width on the fly. So we'll switch over to that now. As you can see, it's a slight super width. Um, this was calculated to a 15 million pixel clock, as I said before. Um, so instead of having hard set, this will multiply the width over and over until it gets over that um, that barrier. Um, this makes it a lot closer to native resolution as possible. Um, I'm going to watch current play and you can see this. As you can see, it's slightly offset now to the to the left, and that's where I bring in the other new addition, which I think you can see here, which is the x-axis centering. Um, this now enables you on the fly to reposition your screen to where you need it depending on the resolution you're in and there we are back to centered again now we have to be careful with this um, this setting because it can you can lose sync I think if we go up to four on here you might see that oh no maybe if we'll switch to 1920 oh no it's, it's playing well so uh, not messing around too much at all. So that's all right. But as you can see, the X centering um, works. You can move your screen left and right, make sure things are centered. Let's do native again. Same thing. If you need to, there we go. We're out of sync there. I've moved it over too far. Um, so as you can see, we can move left and right. So if the calculations from CRT switch are slightly off, there's your fix. Um, so yeah, those are the two new pretty awesome options I've added in. I'm sure you're all aware that 31 kilohertz is currently available. However, that is using a 120 hertz mod, so it will run your core at 120 hertz, which yes can cause ghosting, other issues. Um, I will be adding a alternative version of this soon. Um, so instead of 120 hertz, it will run at 60 hertz, 50 hertz, so on and so forth. Um, but it will be line doubled instead. Um, should look just as good still. Uh, but that's an upcoming thing soon. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave comments down below. Cheers for watching.